put together this shortened version of how to repair and repaint aluminium professionally on boats so that people that just want to cut straight to the chase and get the information can do that. There's a link at the end of this video so that you can get in there and enjoy the full bells and whistles version. Once I started to remove things I found that there was a lot of electrolysis which had penetrated so deeply that the, the aluminium is just completely destroyed all the way through. That's that's right. Now because we're working with aluminium and not wood preparation can be as coarse as 80 grit because the scratches are not going to show through. Get a wire brush on here and along the world. There's a little bit of deeper corrosion there. But apart from that, the shoe's ready to go. Wipe down with acetone and ready for etching prime. It's a zinc phosphate epoxy. So it requires its own particular solvent because I'm going to be rolling and brushing this and um, and it's mixed on a four to one basis. So let's get underway. This is laying off beautifully. Even as you're using it in this warm climate, it's about 27 degrees Celsius today. And as you use it, the extra solvent that you've put in there is flashing off. It's been 24 hours since I primed these aluminium components with a zinc based uh, two pack etching primer. I'm about to give them a light sand back and a coat with two pack polyurethane. I've been experimenting with the roll and tip method of two pack polyurethane for quite a while now and sometimes I've got some reasonable results but I've found that the variables uh, are too many and too great so the temperature changes, the wind speed changes, the humidity changes, uh, the product changes, the thinners flashes off and the viscosity changes and I just haven't been able to get consistent results so I've decided to bite the bullet. I bought a little compressor and a spray gun and uh, I've got a client to do some work for and I'm wanting to produce the highest quality possible. Spraying is the way to go.
everything is now it's ready to assemble. I could have welded these seams um, but back in the 80s they didn't have MIG welders and uh, it's a bit more authentic and I've recycled some of the old parts because it's just got authenticity about it. It's definitely time I invested in a nice long handled riveting gun. Have I gone over to the dark side? No, just fixing up a bayliner trophy for a friend who promises to take me out fishing one day. Thanks to the subscribers and regular watchers, you're appreciated. If you do enjoy watching these videos, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. About 75% of the viewers aren't subscribed, but if you were, it would help me promote the channel so more people get to enjoy the variety of things I enjoy doing with boats. When you're subscribed, you can choose the playlist that you're interested in, whether it's dinghy cruising in moonlight, restoring fiberglass boats, or tinkering about with old inboards.